Hello everybody! Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are going to be doing, as you can probably tell, a haul today. Um, I feel like this lighting right now is so good and it's just natural light, but I am obsessed with the way the makeup turned out. I feel like it's so just like natural glam today, but at the same time it's I'm obviously still wearing foundation and I'm obviously still wearing makeup, but I just like the way it turned out. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's get into this though. I have two from Sephora and then I have one from Paula's Toys from Sephora. Okay, so the first thing that I ended up getting from them was the... This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer, um, which I did get previously, but the shade was way too dark like to the point where I could not even remotely wear it it was just really really dark um, this one is in the shade L5 and I'm assuming it should honestly be okay now especially because I already have a lighter shade that is significantly lighter so this should be more than fine at this point um, but let me show you the the packaging oh my gosh it's so beautiful you guys know how I feel about Pat McGrath. I know how you feel about Pat McGrath. The packaging is freaking gorgeous. The black, the matte black with the gold is literally everything. Um, but this is the concealer. This color actually looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I am pretty confident that this should work. Yeah. Yeah, so there's the concealer right there. As you can tell, it's definitely lighter than my skin tone, um, which is exactly what I was hoping for. It just... It's more of a natural color. The one I currently have is, it's a little more like bright because it is my winter color that I got it for. So I'm, this should be really perfect um, for like any of my summer foundations, for my summer skin tone, this should be awesome. Um, they also ended up giving me a, I, oh sorry, this is one of the samples that I selected. Um, this is the Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo from Dry Bar. Figured I would give this a try. I'm always down to try new things. I do have a blonde running through my hair. You can't see it that well right now because I haven't been to the hairdresser in such a long time all over again. Um, I live in Canada and uh, if you guys also live in Canada, Ontario, you'll know that we are in a lockdown still. Um, so to everybody in the States, I am super jealous because <laughs> you guys are like living your best life. Um, and comment down below, like what's going on where you are in the world? How are you guys doing? Like leave a comment because honestly, I'm curious. I feel like everybody's very segregated right now because we're all going through this, you know, pandemic, but like different countries. So leave a comment letting me know. Um, next, which I thought was crazy that I got this because I really was not planning to. This is the Use of the People Superfood Cleanser. Um, it is a 2019 Allure winner and I got this smallest, smallest size though. I was good. I got the smallest size. Um, this is supposed to be an incredibly amazing cleanser. It is nutrient rich and loaded with cold pressed superfood extracts from kale and spinach to effectively cleanse the skin, remove buildup and pores and balance pH without drying. So all of that sounded absolutely incredible. I have been struggling with my pores around this area. Um, I feel like I've now got it kind of in a good place, but I was like, you know what? If everybody says this is that amazing, let me give it a try because this might be the thing I'm missing in my routine. You know that one thing that you're like, oh, that could have gotten me just right where I needed to be. So that's what that looks like. I love the bottle. It's just very, very clean, very nice and just, you know, heftier bottle, has a nice weight to it. Um, the actual product itself is very fluid in there. It looks really cool, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like a nice, like really nutrient rich face wash. So I will definitely, definitely let you guys know how this goes. I thought like the, obviously the bigger size is stupid expensive. That's why I didn't go with it. Um, but to try, I thought the smaller size was definitely worth it. And then that way, you know, if it is, incredible and I get mind blown then I can let you guys know uh, and most likely you'll see it in another haul video at that point um, I also ended up getting this summer Friday cloud dew oil free gel cream this really intrigued me um, from the beginning when I saw it come out it just okay smell wise there's really no smell to it it smells kind of clinical if anything reminds me of um, Paula's choice to be honest with you but this really intrigued me it it, it just it's an oil free um, gel cream and um, I love gel creams I love gel products it just that's that's my that's my you know it's my thing 
Um, it's very lightweight consistency. It has more of that true gel feel. It's not creamy. It's just gel and then it goes into the skin. So I appreciate that. Um, I haven't looked into the ingredients. I haven't looked into anything else. I know they have some good stuff in there. I think there might be AHAs in here or something like that. I think there's like a hidden ingredient that I just wasn't I didn't know about basically but um, yeah I'll let you guys know how this goes so I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on it um, um, from juice beauty I got the bamboo pore refining mask juice beauty is one of those companies that I just never have explored and this I'm always a fan of charcoal masks so I was like you know what let's just let's just give it a try especially in the summertime because I'm oily combo like I need a charcoal mask here and there just to help decongest all the gross oiliness that builds up in my pores so I thought that would be great for that specific purpose okay so we're down with one box now let's go into the other one so this is the one I actually initially ordered and the first thing I have in here it's the Innisfree Youth Enriched Cream. Um, this is supposed to be a day cream. I got this actually for nighttime because it's summertime and my skin is just... It really doesn't need a very heavy nighttime cream right now. Um, it needs something that's more gel in consistency so that I don't end up breaking out at that point because it's too much. Um, but this is what the product looks like. And I've heard a lot of amazing things about this specific cream um, because it is um, their youth and rich. It's supposed to be anti-aging while also being just really nice, gentle, just a great product for your skin. Um, it has naturally derived hyalur hyaluronic acid that targets early signs of aging for a youthful glow that supports the look of firmness, elasticity, and tone. Yeah, hyaluronic acid will naturally do that, so they're not really calling out anything crazy. This doesn't have um, retinol or anything like that in it, which is, I didn't want that. I wanted something that was just going to be a great moisturizer um, with some just added little benefits in there. And that's the consistency. Um, when it comes to feel-wise, it's a little, it still has that gel like light feeling but it's a little bit more rich than that just slightly smell wise it smells nice it has a little bit of a scent in there but it's nothing overpowering whatsoever so and i like that about innisfree i've never found any of their products overpowering scent wise um so excited for that and i really like the packaging um yeah so excited for that okay i also ended up getting um a couple samples this is the uh caudalie you know perfect um youth glycolic night cream it's basically a blood glycolic brightening night cream um so it's going to be similar to your lactic acid it's going to be similar to all of those it has zero parabens it's vegan there's one percent for the planet that goes from the purchase of this um yeah i'm excited to try this i've been noticing that the caudalie products especially their vino like wine whatever products uh great products um they've been doing really really well the reviews were actually really great so i said you know what let's get a sample um, I also got a sample of the Black Tea Age Defy Eye Concentrate from Fresh. I've heard amazing things about this. Um, eye, eye creams <laughs> can be a little bit gimmicky, um, obviously speaking, because they literally take what you get in a bigger cream for the most part, and a lot of the time they kind of like dilute it down even more and put it in even smaller packaging. But, but, semi creams are actually that they still are effective um, and because they're formulated specifically for the under eye area they're more gentle so I heard great things about this wanted to give it a try and I also got this it's a sea firma day serum um, and it's L ascorbic acid pumpkin ferment extract from drug elephant it's basically a brightening um, serum it's vitamin like a vitamin C serum it's brightening so I will see how that goes and I'll let you know um, I forgot that I also got a bunch of other random additions as well um this is the bumble and bubble hairdressers invisible hair oil i really wanted to try this specific thing um the invisible hair oil from bumble and bumble i heard great things about it there's the reviews are quite great on it um and i really did want something that was super lightweight my hair can get overloaded quite easily um so this looked quite interesting there it is oh yeah that's that's gone there's like nothing left from that okay Promising <laughs> that was super lightweight there's literally no residue on my hand right now. There's no weird shininess Smell wise. It's very pleasant. It smells like a hairdresser product. So like that um, from key quay key. I don't know detox shampoo 
Um, I was excited to try this out just because detox shampoos have been kind of all the rage lately. Um, I really like the Briogeo one, uh, the scalp one. It, it is great, but honestly, I just can't get myself to pay that price. I think it's absolutely like just insane price wise. Um, but this was a little like sample size, so I decided to give this a try. And speaking of hair, I also got this hair mask, um, which I am so excited about. The packaging, you guys, is so beautiful on this. I don't know. I've never tried this brand before, but uh, it just, it really spoke to me. It's the Playa, I think that's how you say the name. I don't know, but I think that's how you say it. Healing Hair Mask, Deep Moisture and Soothes Scalp. It's a Kaolian Clay and Amla Oil Hair Mask. Um, so the clay is supposed to basically clean out any of the buildup. It's supposed to help, you know, just invigorate your roots a little bit and just clean out your scalp you're supposed to use this as a pre shampoo treatment which i like them a lot more than after shampoo treatment that's what i've realized about myself i don't like to do things after a shower i just like to relax but before a shower i don't mind doing a mask so <laughs> i got this for that specific reason the packaging is just really gorgeous i, I just really like the way it looks it's 100 percent recyclable material um natural california beauty i'm guessing that means they should be cruelty free I don't see a cruelty-free logo, um, so I'm not sure about that actually, but um, yeah, it's definitely recyclable. And it's a weekly treatment mask that purifies and treats the scalp while deeply infusing moisture to revive a dry and brittle strands. Um, natural amla oil strengthens strands from root to tip while kaolin clay um, re decongests and balances the scalp and hair follicles, helping to prevent hair loss and stimulate new growth. That was the biggest thing that honestly drew me to it. Um, I've just been having a lot of hair fallout recently and I would not mind some new growth <laughs> and stimulated um, scalp. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'll definitely keep you guys kind of in the loop with this one because I know a lot of people are interested in, you know, just stimulating the scalp, hair growth, all that kind of stuff. This is what the inside looks like and the texture. Smell wise, it smells quite nice. Again, very salon. Uh, smell nothing that I can honestly point out specific that it has in it. But okay from Paula's Choice I only have a couple things to show you guys um, So I I'm in, on this thing right now where I'm all about just trying to kind of perfect the body get the body ready for summer and Just kind of fade any scarring fade any things like just really try to work on my body skincare because for years I've always worked on my face skincare and um, I noticed that they had this line of products that were specifically formulated for body skincare uh, which is very exciting um, and the first one that I got was the Paula's Choice Weightless Body Treatment 2% BHA first of all this is a nice size okay this is a proper body product size I'm happy to see that um, a lot of body products I've noticed like the size isn't that big like it's it's still quite small for the price I thought the price this was actually pretty well priced um, I also managed to get it on sale on Paula's Choice there's always a sale just wait for it because there's like 20% off 15% off it's it's constant um, so just a little trick I also want to mention this has salicylic acid so if you do experience any body acne or um, you just want to be maybe prevent this would be a great product for that as well it exfoliates to reveal younger looking skin softens rough bumpy skin and improves texture and tone so it also has antioxidants. I'm, I am I was really excited to try this out. I did try it out in the sense of just like a couple times just to see kind of how it performed. Um, that's the consistency right there. It's very lightweight. I, it's, it's not heavy um, at all. And it's definitely, it just seeps right into the skin. Um, and what's nice about this is that it's not fragranced, so you can do your thing. You can apply this to your entire body, and then you can do your thing. It's not going to smell like anything. Um, if anything, it has more of a clinical smell, I would say, than anything else. Um, love the packaging. I think this particular color is gorgeous. It's so nice, even in your bathroom. Like, it's just, they did a great job. And the second one I wanted to talk about was the Paula's Choice Skin Smoothing Retinol Body Treatment. Um, obviously, retinol turns over your skin you know it will make your skin look younger <laughs> um, it, it like that's the biggest thing with retinol so it diminishes the appearance of uneven skin tone uh, helps provide firmer looking skin hydrates and softens so this also has antioxidants in it um, it's a decent size as well especially for a retinol product um, it does come with this little like flicky thing oh okay <laughs> flicky thing um, the texture of this is again non-sticky uh, 
non-scented really um, a little tiny bit thicker than the one prior just the tiniest bit but overall very lightweight and completely comfortable for you to sleep in i'm going to put it that way so i would recommend using this at night the bha one um, this you can use at night or in the morning it doesn't specify that you could only use it at night the retinol one it's always recommended to use retinol at night and sleep with it in the morning like wash it off or apply sunscreen and then continue on with your day it just creates skin sensitivity so that's what i would recommend for this but so far from using these I've been liking them. I would never suggest using them together, by the way, as well. I just want to mention that because I, I know it can be confusing. Um, I would always suggest alternating them and also giving your skin a break here and there as well. Um, but yeah, so far I've been enjoying them. I'm seeing little results, uh, but I will be doing a dedicated body care video where I'm going to go into depth about these um, once I've tried them more because I really want to be able to give you guys a very concrete opinion on them since I know that you know all of us struggle with especially things like discoloration on the body or bumps or anything like that or acne so that's coming for you don't worry um also from them this was just a little baby size of the BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid this is for the face it's just it's basically a face toner with BHAs in it and salicylic acid um this is one of their like this is their their best product it's their highest highest rated product and i've never tried it up to this point um for me this would kind of take the place of a serum like an aha bha exfoliant serum or product this would literally take the place of it because it's supposed to be quite strong um but i will give this a try and let you guys know it's supposed to help with you know your pores it's supposed to help with an even skin tone with bumpiness roughness also at the same time would help at least a little bit with acne because there's that salicylic acid component in there so fingers crossed i'm excited to see how these all go and that was everything <laughs> um and thank you so much for tuning in uh we will have another couple hauls coming up there's a drugstore one and then there's also a clothing and amazon one that's going to be coming up so definitely stay tuned turn on that notification bell hit the subscribe do all the fun stuff that we all appreciate so so much and i will see you guys in the next one bye now